Hey everybody, this video is about Fortnite themes and imagery. There are people out there that are having birthday parties and planning birthday parties and would like to use a Fortnite theme. So we're going to start with uh, the top row here in this collage is all of the things that can actually be eaten in the game. Uh, that would be the apples, the mushrooms, and the four different kinds of shield potions. Season 8 added bananas, coconuts, and peppers. Then Throughout the video, we're going to go through with some of the other restaurants that do appear in the game. Now, the players do not actually eat in the restaurants, but they certainly are visual elements in the game. Now, here in the, the last row down here, you find some more uh, thematic elements uh, right now at the Pizza Pit. Uh, they've actually got it set up with a birthday party theme, and that's in the game right now. You can also uh, use the supply drops or the treasure chests or the llamas uh, as thematic elements, and then also... In the lower right corner there, they are the outfits that appear in the Season 8 of the game. And uh, there'll be a larger uh, visual image of that. That can just be interesting thematically as well. So anyway, this is a uh, summary of the different elements that I'm going to look at here. And we'll see much bigger pictures. And it'll give you some ideas uh, for things that you can use to just uh, thematically produce a birthday party. So here we go. Apples are in the game, and eating an apple restores five points of health. They fall from an apple tree. You find them laying on the ground. Uh, you can easily go to a grocery store and buy an apple, or you can make a candy version of an apple. I might have a separate video uh, showing a candy version of an apple because I'm going to be making a candy version of the blue mushroom. Uh, the blue mushroom is also found in the game in random places or maybe specific places on the map, and it restores five points of shield for every one that you eat. Now, these little blue mushrooms, uh, you're not going to be able to go to the grocery store and find a blue mushroom, but you can make them, and I'm going to have a separate video about different ways that you could make a blue mushroom. There are four different sizes of shield potions. These can be made you know, many different ways. There's actually a lot of different kinds of liquid that you can find in a grocery store that are blue. So I'm actually going to have another separate video about different ways to make blue potions. There's quite a few different ways. And uh, just be aware that these shield potions are drunk as a shot, meaning the player just takes it, opens it up, and chugs it all down at once. Giving these potions to your party guests, their natural instinct if they play the game is to chug it all down. So be very careful to provide small enough shot glass size containers that you don't have children vomiting 12 ounces of shield potion all over your floor. In the game, the small shield gives you 25 points. The shield potion gives you 50 points. The slurp juice gives you 75 points. And the chug jug gives you 100 points of shield. Bananas, coconuts, and peppers are new with Season 8, and they're found in the desert biome and in the Lazy Lagoon biome near the pirate ship. The bananas give you 5 health points, and the coconuts would give you 5 health points or shield points, depending on which you need. The um, peppers would give you health points plus some extra speed. The Durr Burger is probably one of the most iconic food items in the game. Uh, what I have here is... A picture of the Durburger mascot, and somebody has tagged graffiti on the tongue <laughs> that wasn't there in Season 7, but when I go there today, there's always graffiti on the tongue. So it's there now, and it'll probably disappear again at some point. The, um, the Durburger mascot burger is currently separated. It's off on a hillside next to Pleasant Park, whereas the Durburger restaurant is in Retail Row, where all of the other fast food restaurants are. So Retail Row is going to be the place to go to find all of your fast food restaurants. The Durburger actually has a lot of things on the menu. It has Dur fries and it has Dur slurps. If you look at the menu, you also see ice cream, you see sodas, you see nuggets, uh, you see a stack of something that could be like a stack of pancakes or just a stacked up hamburger. The Durburger itself is, is a really cute thing. It has two 
bulgy white eyes and a little olive on the top and then it has a little piece of of some kind of bacon Canadian bacon or regular bacon sticking out like a like a tongue it looks to me like it has a slice of tomato and a slice of cheese and a hamburger patty and the two buns it's just really iconic uh the there's the olive sticking out of the top so that's really cute and uh and that could be a food item everyone you know would recognize a der burger the other very commonly used item is going to be the uncle pete's pizza pit pizza now that's a restaurant in retail row and it currently has a party theme going on there are balloons there are balloons all over the restaurant the the signage in the restaurant is uh, pepperoni pizza in my opinion uh, it could also have slices of tomato on the pizza there is a pizza truck that happened to be right next to the pizza pit restaurant there's a pizza pit truck and it has some really cute mascot the the tomato mascot on the top of it with a very large slice of pizza the pizza on top of the the pizza pit truck was a thin slice pepperoni and then along the crust it had rolled up in it some mozzarella cheese inside the edge of the crust on the side of this truck uh, there's a little thumb thumbs up thumbs down for the Dur burger versus the pizza pit so there's there's very clearly a war going on in the game between the tomato pizza guys and the Dur burger burger guys. So that's one of the themes of the game. Uh, but it isn't necessarily going to be the only food that you can eat. And there are actually three different taco restaurants in the game. There's one in Retail Row and the other two are in unnamed locations. So just in terms of sheer number of restaurants, tacos win. You know, don't feel bad for serving tacos at a birthday party. They're definitely represented in the game. Uh, there is also in the game uh, a grocery store called Noms, N-O-M-S. And it looks like a regular grocery store. And then there are steps that lead up to a second level. And on the second level, there are there's a seating area. And those are in several places all around the map. There are probably more noms, but I kind of consider them a grocery store with a seating area. <laughs> there are many of these stores called Big Shots Espresso. They're all over the map. I assume from that that you go there to buy your coffee drinks. And then there is a place called Joel's. I would say it's probably a sports bar. It looks like it has TVs and a dartboard and beer specials. So so that would be Joel's. So if we go to another area like over by the Paradise Palms in the desert area, there's a, a thing called Softies. It's alongside the road. It's in an unnamed location and it looks to me like they serve ice cream. They serve something in a waffle cone. So it's going to be ice cream or frozen yogurt or gelato. And if you look inside the restaurant, you can actually see trays of different colored, creamy looking ice cream, gelato, frozen yogurt type things. Also near there is the racetrack. The racetrack has a restaurant and the restaurant, as far as I can tell, doesn't even have a name, but there's obviously food and seating right next to the racetrack. Also of interest in Paradise Palms, there's a, a backyard grill. Just someone that has a very large grill, private home in the backyard, and the grill is labeled food. There is an ice cream truck in the game. It's currently located in Paradise Palms. Okay, so if we go down to Happy Hamlet, there's a place called Oink. And I don't know if I'd really call it a restaurant again. It looks more like a meat market when you go in. You see lots of cuts of meat. There's also something that doesn't really have a name. It just has a keg. And I guess I can see why a game like this would do that because <laughs> they don't want to promote alcohol to children. So there's a keg. It could be root beer. It could be beer. It could be wine. We don't know. But throughout the theme of this place, there are just wooden kegs. Uh, so also in Happily Hamlet, you'll see 
uh, another Big Shots, another Noms, and a little coffee place. Lucky Landing is another place that has quite a few restaurants. The cutest one is this dumpling restaurant. It has a very large dumpling man that rotates on top of one of the buildings. Very cute. There are a number of other restaurants there, and the signage for these is not in English. It's in some sort of Asian language, and I really can't tell you what they're advertising or what they're called. There is a place that used to be called Tomato Temple. It's right next to the volcano, and it has become an unnamed location. I don't know if Tomato Temple will survive Season 8. I just don't know. Loot drops. Uh, we have the supply drops, the chests, and the llamas. Now, the supply drops usually give you really high-level items. I've seen a lot of people just take yellow helium balloons and attach royal blue colored bags as uh, like a party favor type. So you could do that or just have like these yellow balloons with the little, some sort of little blue box hanging from them. Those are just kind of cute to have around. Then we have the chests. Um, these are <laughs> used everywhere in the game. So if you wanted to try to recreate the look of a chest, that might be a good place to either uh, accumulate gifts in or to have little, again, party favors or snacks in chests that can be given out to party guests. There's a, a llama. Actually looks a lot like a pinata, to be honest. Uh, I have seen other videos around about people making llama pinatas. The videos are out there for that. Uh, the last thing that I want to address here is uh, that season 8, or every season, has specific outfits uh, that the characters wear. This season, I'm just going to include a picture then of the uh, the character clothing for the season. Um, and this is season 8, and like I say, every season there are new costumes. And these are these are just the new ones. So there's a lot of ideas, there's a lot of uh, imagery... So I hope this helps, and uh, I hope you have fun. Bye.